Hello everyone, uh, the request of the public, I will be presenting the solution for your homework of lab two. So this consists of you have a server, you have two routers, you have a switch as well as you've got these two PCs. So in fact, you have exactly this network, okay, which as you can see, it's successful. So it is the right solution. It was tested. OK, and now you will be using a server to switch. I mean, a switch. You have two routers and the computers. Now, these computers, you see that they belong to a network which begins with 172.16.1 and then you've got the number of the stations. Then you have this port over here and as you can see, this one belongs to a class uh, B such that you use the last two octets for the stations. And this is why the entrance for it for the fast Ethernet will be with 172.16.255 and 254 and the mask with 255.255.00. Then we have the serial, the serial 010. OK, and for it, you will have the entrance with, as you can see it here, it's 10, 10, 10, 5. And the mask is this one is 255, 255, 255 and 252. OK, as well as you've got the other router, you need to initialize, which is the serial being with this one, 10, 10, 10 and 6. And you have, as you can see, these octets, the maximum capacity is 255. And you will be using the last uh, address in order to have the broadcast to send all the messages in the own network. So this is why you have, in fact, two positions which are empty for exactly these two ports. And you have for this one, you have the connection towards the server. OK, and as you can see, it will be the network with 192.168.254. This belongs to the class uh, C and in this case, if the server occupies the last position because the last uh, IP available ends in 255, it means that here, as you can see, it has 254, the such that the port when you can access your um, server is this one with 192.168.254 and 253. So let's start from the beginning with what you will be using and with a fresh example. Uh, let's see what you have to do. Firstly, you press, you enter the main devices being the PCs and you also have the server. OK. So I have them in this uh, way. OK, then I will have the switch. OK. And the switch is okay. This one with 60 and to 4 TT. Okay, good. All right, then you have the routers which are here, and you have it with this one 1841. What I did show you was another model more complex, but uh, let's use this one. OK, and then what you need to do is for both uh, your routers, you need to go in and you need all the support uh, for it. OK, being at this hour, I have another one. XSLs. Donc dans le for each, tu dois aller jusqu'à le même élément qui est nommé fin, et dans cela, tu dois choisir la valeur où tu as l'attribut. Et l'attribut, tu dois l'appeler en utilisant le arrond. Euh, oui, le arrobas. Oui. 
big plezi. Yeah, I have another lab in parallel. <laughs> it's just ending at uh, 9 p.m. Okay, so let's put the week to tea. And start it on for the serial connection. Okay, and let's see this one. Boom. Et voilà. Okay, it is with this week to tea. And turning it on. Okay, then we need to link them. And it is a serial connection. Everything is good. Okay, tuck, 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 tuck. Now, let's start from down to up. Have a direction. Okay, this, as you can see, you have here a gateway. A gateway means how will you, via which port will you enter the system? And in fact, you see that it is this uh, port, okay, where you have the ending for your system. Because the network starts with 172.16, the mask is B, having the two octets occupied, such that you can fill in the last two octets, such that the gateway is with 172.16.255.254. Okay, so this is the entrance point in order to access this network. Then I have my IP. This is my first computer, so this is 172.16.1. That one, uh, and it will say that it is used by the other network. Yeah, it will say this. Mm -hmm. Because I have the previous solution placed to the right, so I will place it with three. But you can leave it with one. But for me, it will. You cannot have the two duplicates. Okay. Then I am in this one. Default gateway is 16.55.504. And fast Ethernet will be the next available one because it was used. The subnet mask is OK. Then, OK, I need to turn on these ports. All right, so let's see. This is the connection with fast Ethernet 00. Fast Ethernet 00, I turn it on. And the IP, I am in router 1, R1, is with 168.5.3. Okay. And I also have the serial connection, which is SE. Zero one zero. Zero one zero is this one. Zero one zero. This one. And five five two five two. Okay. Then I have this serial zero one zero. Chuck. Turning it on. Router 2 being here. I have the serial connection. 10, 10, 10, 5. Again. And it's a network between the two of them. So I keep this 252. Two. I have two stations. So it ends with this one. Okay, and then I have here fast Ethernet 0, 0. I turn it on. And I have this router. Okay. Now router 2 communicates with 172.15.254. Okay, so it is this one. This is the network connection. Okay, perfect. Then we also have the server, fast Ethernet, and my server is Ego. So it's 168. All right. 
And we also need to set the gateway being the entrance point in this network. So it is exactly what you did. And uh, here, as you can see, see, this is the entrance point gateway. And I have 192.168.254. Good, then I see that in my switch I have a VLAN 1 interface. So, okay, config, I have the VLAN 1, which is this one that is used, but I see that I have, okay, this IP address and the subnet mask according to the gateway. So in CLI, I have Okay. Yes. That just press Control C, Control C, and it's okay. Configure terminal. It enters configure mode into VLAN. I want to set the VLAN one. Okay, it entered the configuration. I F, and I have an address of one seven two dot six. That two five four that one with this two five five two five five and zero zero. So you enter it, and it is via this mask such that you can forward the messages. Okay. Well, this is the one that you add. While we also have this routing in between. So this is why I told you to use uh, lab3 as a hint. So as you can see, you have the IP route. For a certain route called route one, you have IP route of destination network with a mask and a hub, hub being a port. So being in R1, you see here that you have an IP route of 192.168.30.0, which is the entry point in this network, okay? So via this, uh, route i can have messages sent here and this network has this mask because it belongs to class c you will see it uh, during the next labs then when sending it towards this destination it means that the message from route one will get forwarded via the 10 10 20 and 2 as an ip okay and is the same that sending it here is what? I have an IP route of 192.168.10 and 0 being the beginning of the network. So this is in fact the address, the IP address of this network. In fact, you have a local area network over here, this one. And you have this uh, class for it. And how can you access it? Well, I need to use this port, which has the IP 10, 10, 10, and 2. And then you have just the interface name. So let's see. If I am in, let's start with router one. Okay, this is with the configure. All right, so this is what I added uh, my default, but what I can do is to also go to routing. And in this way, I can say that I have what my destination. My destination from here would be towards the computers that are placed here. And I need to have the beginning of the network. So it's 172.16.00. Why 00? Because you have this class, which is with um, 255.255. So it's class B, you use just the two octets. And the mask will be using just the two octets. So you put it in this way. Then the next hop will be via which uh, port? do you receive it well it would be via the port which is here being 10 10 10 and 5. remember you are here your destination is in fact this one when sending from the server towards the pc being 172.16.00 via the mask 255.255.00 and the next hop is via this uh, port which is this one and if i click on add okay it was added and I see it here. Then I will have this one. 
now if I go to IP, to what can I send? Well, I can send towards the server and which is in fact the IP. As you can see, you use the three octets, meaning that the last octet you replace it with zero. So it is 192.168.254.0. So this is the meaning of using three octets. As you can see, you use three octets for the network while the last octet, which is this one, you use it for assigning station IDs. So this one is last C. You use uh, three octets, so you have this 255, 255, 255, and uh, 0. While the next hub, when sending messages from here via the server, it needs to be this IP, which is in fact this one with 10, 10, 10, 6. So this is with 10, 10, 10, and 6. And let's edit, and it was added over here. Good. And now I would send messages. So it firstly recognizes the network. So as you can see, first it failed that it was successful because as you've seen last time, it firstly recognizes the network and from the server to the PC, it will be successful. So when deleting everything, the IP tables are already known. So it, the answer will be successful and here. And when I want to test it in simulation mode, let's send from the PC to the server. And we see that it goes inside the switch. Then the router, it uses the serial connection. It arrives in router one. Then we reach the server. After reaching the server, we have the acknowledgements where everything goes uh, backwards. Everything was sent via the backwards route, router one, router zero switch. PC3 and it proves to be successful. And this is what you had to do for this exercise. And even if I do it the other way around from the PC towards the server, let's clean a bit this. Okay, it would also be sent router one, router zero, switch PC, PC and backwards, and it will receive the acknowledgement inside the network. So whatever the connection, it knows how to send it. And this is what you had to do. So thank you for your attention and good luck solving the exercise.